For the first time in eight years, Knoxville voters will elect a new mayor. Mayor Madeline Rajero has served two terms. A half dozen people are competing for that job in August in the primary and the regular election in November. We'll hear from each of them in a series of interviews over the coming weeks. Candidate India Kincannon joins us tonight. India, nice to see you again. And let's start with your background and what prepared you for this job. Good to see you too, John. Uh, I had the great honor to serve on the Knox County Board of Education as chair and member for 10 years from 20, 2004 to 2014. It's a big organization, 8,000 employees, 60,000 kids, and a $450 million budget. So not only did that prepare me to help run the city and manage its budget and employees, it also was an organization that deals with really challenging issues of how to educate and support our children and families. So that gave me a great uh, managerial experience. It gave me a great experience in learning how to deal with tough issues and not take those personally and realize that you can't always please everybody. But I'm really proud of my service on the school board and think we got a lot of good things done for kids during that time. More recently, I've been working for Mayor O'Hara from 2015 to 2018, learning the ins and outs of city government. She asked me to join her team when I got back from a year away in Slovenia, and I was happy to do so because I've been a longtime supporter and friend of hers and learned uh, the ins and outs of city government over those years, and now I'm ready to uh, succeed her and build on her successes. What will be your biggest priority as mayor? Um, my biggest priority will be affordable housing, and that's not just my priority, that's the priority I hear when I'm talking to people all around the city. And so I hope to do work on that in two ways. One is to continue Mayor O'Hara's work in uh, bridging the financing gaps for the private sector developers who want to build new rental uh, and low income and affordable housing. Making it more attractive for them to, to invest right. in that. Sometimes it's just hard to finance. Uh, mm -hmm. But the other side, which is just as important, is uh, workforce development. Uh, with my background in education, I'm hoping to connect young people to workforce development opportunities, training, apprenticeships. Did you know that if you're 18 years old with a high school diploma, you can go over to the Tennessee College of Applied Technology, earn your associate's degree in two years while earning money instead of uh, accumulating student debt, and learn a trade like HVAC repair, carpentry, welding. And those jobs are really well paid, and they can't be outsourced, and they can't be bought on the internet. So I'm hoping that we can re elevate the trades and, and connect young people and, and people of any age to those ways to improve their skills so instead of earning uh, minimum wage and no benefits they can have decent job with decent benefits and then housing will be more affordable. In the 30 seconds we have left is housing and affordable housing the biggest challenge you think the city faces right now? I think a housing and affordable housing is and it's all connected to uh, economic development and my job as mayor is to connect families to opportunities and that includes housing and economic opportunities and jobs and training as well. India Kincannon, we appreciate the time and we'll see you again as we continue our conversation with the mayoral candidates to become Knoxville's next mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.